We are at the E1 booth at FDIC 2012 and just wanted to show you a quick snapshot on a brand new hunter foot platform for the Hendersonville Fire Department out of Tennessee. As you can tell, there's a lot of people visiting the actual conference here. And just want to kind of give you a quick snapshot of this truck. They have a lot of neat features in here. You can see all the quartz lights on the inside of the cab. They've really got this thing set up great. Showing you some of the SCBAs that are mounted on the rear wall. And then their actual seating. They had quite a cascade system set up inside here. So you don't get to see these options a lot of times, but this is really a neat setup for how they've done this in this front compartment here. Obviously, you got an Onan generator showing you more compartmentation. Just kind of walk down through the truck. It's a really neat setup. They have their Hurst system set up here. So they have a high pressure Hurst system that this is showing you their spreader and then their cutter be on the other side it's showing you their power unit it's actually on a roll out pull out tray that's a great setup right there then it's showing you again more lights a lot of just compartmentation here the 200 foot cord reel it's pretty cool how they set up a lot of tooling in the rear compartment very deep compartment a lot of the tarps on the inside, the rescue belts. E1 is known for their crisscross design. This does a great job on having a very small footprint when you have to deploy your actual ladders. We've never had an aerial failure or tip over ever in history. To give you a setup there, it's really pretty how they've done the red all the way down the truck. Come off to the rear, showing you all the ladder type holes. Seam lights, another access up into the truck. This is really cool. How they have their fans, extinguisher set up here, all the rope rescue. It's a pretty cool setup here. This particular truck, this kind of gives you a quick visual of the truck. I didn't state this earlier, but this does have the electronic stability control. And it's kind of giving you a quick walkthrough of their options. That's cool. They actually have the Hurst e tools over here. So these tools actually do not need power units. That is their cutter and their spreader and then their ram up there up top for the rabbit tool. This is a great setup here for how they've done their hearse. So that's a pull out tray. Another deep compartmentation. More tooling where they would put that. Then obviously more of their axes, fire bars. Just a good setup. So thank you again for checking this out. If you'd like more information feel free to check us out at Sunbelt Fire and Twitter, and thank you for what you do. Stay safe.